Hello, everybody. Welcome to my uh, managerial accounting walkthrough solution. This is problem two when we have significant under or over applied factory overhead. Okay. So before I thank myself for writing the question. <laughs> um, so when we had our last problem, the amount of the under or over the amount of the under applied factory overhead was only three. And because that as a percentage is less than 1%, we basically say it's a material. Now, but what if the amount was different? What if it was in fact material? And let's go ahead and take a look at this. So assume that Lobo had $200 of over applied factory overhead for the month of June, 2024. And they had the following balances, right? So the first thing as we go through and look at this question, is that if my over applied factory overhead and like, let's just think about this, right? So let's kind of write out, draw out some T accounts, right? So we have over here, we have our raw materials inventory. Um, we then have our work in process. We have our finished goods inventory. And then we have our cost of goods sold, okay? And when we're looking at this type of question, right? So if my cost of goods sold prior to any adjustments, and let's, the raw materials will say is 100, the whip is 150, the finished goods is gonna be 250, and then the cost of goods sold is 400. So we're kind of cutting to the chase in terms of where we were previously. So when we go through and look at this, if the amount of the, and let's, let's make an account over here for factory overhead. And if you remember, we've got factory overhead. And one of the things I asked you to do in the last video is we're going to put actual on the left and we're going to put applied on the right. If factory overhead was over applied, meaning I applied too much, right? It said 200 of over applied factory overhead, meaning that this has here has a balance of 200. So if I have over applied factory overhead of 200, I know that I have to go through and make this account go to zero. So if the amount of the overhead is over applied, meaning that my applied exceeded my actual, to make this go down to zero, I'm gonna need a debit over here of 200. Now, normally what I would do as I did in this last example, is that I just basically, I put it to cost of goods sold. But the difference here is when I'm putting this amount to cost of goods sold, right? Because I need to make the factory overhead go down to zero. If I put this to cost of goods sold in its entirety, this creates a problem. And what's the problem that's creating? Well, the over applied is at 200. My total cost of goods sold is at 400. So the percentage of the over applied factory overhead of cost of goods sold is 50%. We generally say that anything that's gonna be above, and again, it depends on the situation, but anything above 5% is materially significant. Now for my exam, now I will tell you if it is going to be materially significant. Look over here, right? For this question, I said, assume any amount is immaterial, meaning it's of no consequence. But over here, this is materially significant. Because the amount is materially significant, we cannot just adjust cost of goods sold because that would be distorting it to the investor that's looking at our financial statements. So what I have to go through and do is I have to allocate the amount of the over applied overhead to the various different accounts. Now, when I'm choosing which accounts that I'm gonna go through and do, I have 
four accounts to kind of go through and to look at. I have raw materials, work in process, finished goods, and cost of goods sold. If we go back and look at this problem, though, when I look at where did the applied factory overhead go, well, it never went to raw materials, right? Raw materials doesn't have any applied factory overhead going into it, right? However, right, what accounts do? Well, we applied it first to the work in process. The work in process then went to finished goods and then the cost of goods sold. So when I look at this, right, this, this account right over here, this is of no consequence to me. The accounts that were infected as a result of the over-applied factory overhead are going to be work in process, finished goods, and cost of goods sold. So what I now need to go through and do is I need to say, okay, I need to allocate it amongst these three accounts. Well, how do I do it? Well, I'm going to take my WIP, my finished goods inventory, and my cost of goods sold. So over here, my WIP balance was 150. My finished goods inventory is 250, and my cost of goods sold is 400. So this over here totals 800. When I do each of these as a percentage of the total. Right, this is 150 divided by 800, 250 divided by 800, 400 divided by 800. When I add these up, this has to equal to 100%. Right, this is 150 divided by 800. This is 250 divided by 800. This is 400 divided by 800. When you see me writing these down, you do not have to do this on the exam. Why do I write these down? So you know where the percentage comes from. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take my percentage and I'm going to multiply that by my over under applied overhead, which is going to be 200. So when I multiply the percentage of the total times the under or over applied overhead, this is going to give me my allocation. And when you see this up here, A times B equals C. So this is going to be 3750, 6250, 100. When I add up these three numbers, it has to equal up to 200. So now when I come over here to my journal entry, instead of just putting this over here to um, cost of goods sold, I'm going to allocate it amongst these different accounts. So when I do the journal entry, what I'm going to do over here, and I'm not sure if I gave you a date in June of 2024. So over here, I'm going to say 6, 30, 24. I'm going to start with, well, what did I need to do to make the factory overhead go to zero? Well, factory overhead was over applied. So I had to debit factory overhead, right? This is going to be my debit that I'm going to be debiting this account for 200. Okay, over here, and what accounts am I crediting? Well, I'm crediting WIP, finished goods, and cost of goods sold. Those are going to be the accounts that I'm going to go through and credit. So over here, I got 3750, 62, and 100. And then over here, I'm going to say over here, this is going to be to adjust for over applied. factory overhead. Okay, so I've got my date, count, debit, credit. Make sure that when you're showing your credits, the account descriptions have to be indented. Let's just talk a few other things here. When you go through and you show me this thing, I'm going to ask you very specifically, prepare the journal entry. That's all fine and dandy but give your justification. So this is the journal entry, but the justification is gonna be because the amount uh, is materially significant, right? And when you say this, you have to say 200 
divided by 400 is 50 percent it's materially significant therefore if we just made the adjustment to cost of goods sold cost of goods sold would be distorted therefore we need to allocate the over applied amount to finished goods to work in process finished goods inventory and cost of goods sold so again when you're doing this will be a separate question if you're taking my class you're going to have two questions for job order costing the first question is going to be over here it's going to be like okay you got to do these different parts then you're going to have a separate question that is going to be focusing on under over under applied factory overhead when you give a analysis if I'm asking you to go through and say quantify I better see numbers I have to see the number if you just say it's big well that's great that's a great movie with Tom Hanks but it doesn't really do me any good I need to see the numbers going through so just make sure when you're going through and doing this problem this will be a separate question right you know it's coming is it over or under applied if it's under applied then it's going to be obviously be on the other side but again if you practice this question through you're going to be great for the exam um and I want to thank myself for writing this question <laughs> please leave any questions you guys might have below and appreciate you liking and subscribing to the channel I look forward to seeing you on future videos have a great day